Thanks. Do you know how many jobs are connected with uh, Brisbane Airport? Oh, so yeah. both uh, directly at the airport and also uh, associated businesses? Um, I'm not sure I've got that figure in front of me. There's certainly um, something we can find out uh, relatively quickly. Um, but no, I don't have that number in front of me, I'm sorry. So uh, and what I'm saying associated with, so the associated businesses, that's couriers who do deliver for transport. If you, if you could give us the figures both directly who was employed there, so people who would be employed directly with aircraft flights, but also those ancillary um, issues, ancillary jobs, that would be really useful. And, um, did I get correct that the noise complaints, there has been, it's air services who can give us sort of directly information on sort of the timing of when the noise complaints yeah. are. That's yeah. right. And also you were asked a question about um, any work that had been done on the devaluation of property um, because of noise. Um, this noise has been around for a while, hasn't it? It's, you know, there's been complaints for a number of years. Am I correct about that? I understand that's... that's so the, um, the new runway in Brisbane opened in mid-2020, um, and then there's certainly uh, an increase in noise complaints from Brisbane residents with the new flight paths being flown with the new runway. So in the lead-up to the development of that new um, runway, um, did the previous federal government do any work on what the devaluation of the... Uh, the, the devaluation of properties in the vicinity would be because of the new runway and the um, increased air traffic? I would have to take that on notice, yeah. Senator. Would you do that? It would be interesting to know. And the lead-up process to putting in a new runway, you can't just sort of say, I'm going to put in a new runway, do you? It has, there's a significant amount of consultation that goes into that, including with your department. Am I correct about that? That's correct. There's a range of processes around uh, master planning and major development project uh, planning and approvals that has to go ahead beforehand. And also where the flight play, play, what the flight plans are going to be like, what the demand is like, what new airlines are going to be there, all of that would have been taken into account because the existing infrastructure was not significant enough to take what the, look, what the demand looks like. Am I correct about that? A uh, range of issues, including those, will have been taken into account as to whether there was demand for a new new runway, um, and uh, a range of issues needed to be taken into account, including going through the ARS process. Thank you.